All right, hey guys, Coach Shu here. Today we are talking about bracing. So bracing is very important for lifting. What is it? It's basically creating pressure throughout your core to protect your spine is the real quick version. So how do we do this? So the really quick way to learn it is basically we're gonna do the crab claw method. We're going to take our pointer fingers, put them into our belly. Um, thumbs are gonna go into that love handle area. And then from there, we're just gonna practice bracing. So we're gonna take a big inhale. We're gonna fill up our lungs. We're gonna fill up our belly. And on the top of that inhale, we are going to create pressure and kind of push out and down into all four fingers. So forward and back. So you're going to, when you do that, we want to be able to hold it. So you should have, be able to take a bit of pressure in the core, but still take some shallow breaths at the top. And then you're going to relax. And if you want to practice it again, again, inhale, fill up lungs, fill up belly, create that pressure like you're going to poop, don't poop. And then practice taking some shallow breaths while you're holding that. It's a really good place to start with bracing. Practice that, if you think about it, practice when you're brushing your teeth, flipping your eggs, whatever you're doing. See if that helps you make that connection. Hey guys, Coach you again with more bracing tips. So if you've perfected or got more comfortable with a crab claw method, we're going to do this one. It's going to be laying on the ground. We need a light kettlebell and a wall. So very similar movements. We just get a little bit different feedback. So this is a good way to step it up. So we're going to be lying down, legs 90 degrees, feet resting against the wall. And we're going to take a light kettlebell and we're going to just put it on our low abs. So everything else the same as we did before. We're going to inhale, fill up your lungs fill up your belly and at the top of that breath we are going to push down and out and push that kettlebell away and then also pushing back into the ground so this basically replaces your pointer fingers the ground replaces those thumbs in the love handle we should be able to still take some shallow breaths right while we're holding that brace and then we're just going to relax let that kettlebell come down and then again inhale fill up our lungs fill up our belly and then we're gonna press that kettlebell away, also pressing into the ground. We want that 360 breath, filling up that torso like a soda can. So take a couple shallow breaths, relax, maybe practice that five to 10 times, just however many times it's comfortable. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it. Give it a try, see if that helps. Hey guys, Coach Shu here, and we're talking about bracing again. So main question we, we get is when do you brace? And the answer is before the lift begins. So if we're coming from the rack, for example, in a back squat, we wanna make sure we get nice and set up in the rack, we're gonna brace. Lift it with our legs, bring it back. And before the lift begins, we're gonna go ahead, fill up, create that pressure we practice, and then lift. Between lifts, you can relax, find the brace again. And then from there, we'll walk it back in. But make sure that the brace begins before the lift starts and try to hold it the entire time. As far as bracing from lifts from the ground, we want to make sure still that we are braced before the lift starts. So for a snatch, for example, we're going to go ahead and get all of our setup things done, whatever that may be for you. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take in that air. You're going to create that pressure just like we did. And then we're going to lift. All right. So make sure the last thing you're doing before you initiate the lift is bracing. Hold it through the entire lift and see if that helps us be more stable in our catch and in our movements.